Hello everybody, I am back, and today we are not inside the Galactic Container building, we will be later. But first, it is later in the day, it's actually past 8pm here, which means we can go to the old chateau and catch a very special Pokemon called Rotom. It isn't a legendary, it does get treated as such, but it is officially not a legendary. Also, hi Gardenia. Hiya, were you intrigued by the rumors going around too? You know, people have been talking about the ghost Pokemon of the old chateau. I've been hearing rumors about Sinister Shadows, too. I should check it out myself, but going there is, well, you know, being that I'm a gym leader, I'm always busy. She's scared out of her wits. <laughs> so, since I'm so busy, I can't go in. It's not because I'm scared. So, good luck with your investigation. Bye! Sure, good. <laughs> yeah, okay. I would be totally fine with you not getting a Rotom and me getting a Rotom. The only thing you can catch in the old chateau is ghastly, normally. But if you visit here between 8 p.m. and 4 a.m., although in Diamond and Pearl you will need to beat the game first, I won't say it. You can find a Pokemon called Rotom. Hi, Bidoof. Keep pretending to be important. So yeah, I'm gonna go catch Rotom, just because it would be an awesome thing to have on my team. And an Ether, okay. The only problem is getting there. There's every chance I could run into a ghastly. So to hopefully mitigate that, I have repels. Nah. <laughs> and we can repel up here. The old chateau is a legitimately creepy place. Also, there might be some fun little Easter eggs. Okay, now let's catch Rotom first and foremost. Inside the TV, there appears to be a Pokemon? Question mark? The Pokemon appears as it will be coming out. Wanna thump the TV? Dawn, thump the TV set. Here we go! Here is Rotom, it's level 20, so it'd fit right in. It is electric ghost type. And since it does levitate, it is only weak to a few very select things. I don't have quick balls, do I? I want quick balls, dang. It's level 20, so my nest balls aren't gonna be that effective. Alright, how much do I trust Honeybun to not kill it? I mean, let's try Gus, since that's not. Double team, okay. Okay, how much is Gus going to do? Okay, yeah, we can probably risk a power jam. Confuse Ray, so it's just going to be annoying, but not actually threatening. Alright. Okay, come on, Rotom. Thundershot. Crap. Let's get out of there. One more hit. Okay. Let's just see how much a power gem does. Please don't kill it. That'll have to do. I don't trust you anymore after what happened last episode, Sinatra, but you do have Sing. So if you could please not miss <laughs> three times in a row like you did last time, I would be very grateful. Double team. Okay, you're gonna miss a lot. Yeah, Sinatra's gonna miss a ton now. Yep. Just gonna speed this up until I actually hit a sing, or I have to switch out. Come on, Sinatra. I wish I could have timer balls. Alright, how much is. Yee! Yee, Sinatra! I think you can take one more hit. Sinatra! <laughs> You're killing me here! I get that he used double team twice. And I get it, but that was pretty awesome that you didn't. I'm gonna lose someone to a Rotom because Sinatra missed! Ah. 
two, three. Yeah! Yes! 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 I have a Rotom! That's awesome! I can use it once someone never really dies. Its electrical body can enter some kinds of machines and take control in order to make mischief if you have DLC, which I don't. So it will be forever this little thing. Now, this name doesn't mean that other than someone really wanted me to name them after name a Pokemon after them, so you are bomb. Hi, Vom. Bye, Vom. Yes! I want that item. A dread plate that boosts. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. Yeah, the plate actually has text in these. I want to get the little cutscene to trigger. Or, I guess it's not really a cutscene, but... The whatchamacallit. If you look around hard enough, sometimes you'll see a little girl or a man. Just NPC sprites, standing there. And then once you leave, they just don't appear. Substitute? Okay. And I kind of want to show them on camera, just because they are creepy. And I... If I was doing this closer to October, this would be kind of perfect, but... And in here we have the old gateau. Chateau gateau. Repulsive. Yeah, this is either going to be a long episode, or... I might not actually tackle Jupiter this episode. Because I'm too busy exploring the old chateau. Rare candy, okay. You know, this is going to sound really fun. Kind of dumb, but... When I was a kid, I thought Chateau was cat water. And I do have a reasoning for this. I do have a somewhat valid reasoning for this. Chateau is really, is just a combination of the words chat and O in French. And chat is cat in French and O is water in French. So a castle is really just the cat's old water and no ghosties. Okay. Oh well. Alright, let's go heal up. Yeah. I figure that's something I can probably bring up after what just happened with Sinatra. I have a feeling one of Sinatra and Squishy, one of those two, is going to either get killed or inadvertently cause someone else's on this team's death just because they missed. That's gonna happen. <laughs> Sinatra nearly died right there, actually. Alright, first off, let's check out Vom. Alright, Vom, let's... Look at your stats. You are a naive nature. I don't remember off the top. I think that's plus speed minus defense. You're very fast, very strong. Moderately bulky. You'll be a great addition to this team if someone happens to die. You also have levitate. So you're only weak to ghost and dark, which means you kind of come in an awful time for Cantina. Yeah, I'm stoked I got a Rotom. I actually really like Rotoms. So, anyways, let's go back to the Team Galactic building. I'm gonna finish it, even if it means this is gonna be a really long episode. But yeah, I do think one of Sinatra and Squishy is gonna get themselves killed, or kill someone else inadvertently, just because they can't hit anything. Do you fight me? Yes. Our objectives are incredible, too incredible for me to understand. I'll fight blindly to defend them, and your intrusion won't be forgiven. Yep. <laughs> Team Galactic doesn't even know what it's doing. It makes more sense in Adventures. It makes a lot of sense in Adventures. It just, it, this isn't Adventures. This is Platinum. Alright, so, Honeybun, can you gust it? And I guess I should switch off of Honeybun. I have her in the front so just to pretty much remove the risk of me running into gases. Okay, Honeybun. Fantina's level tw what, what was I fighting for again? Yeah, Fantina's level 26, so I don't have that much wiggle on me. Alright, squishy. And then... Yeah, we're good like that. I'm trusting you, squishy. So yeah, this side has no trainers. And then up here. Team Galactic is working hard to find new energy sources for the future, except you don't fight. Right. 
Okay, this is the wrong way, so let's go here. We are conducting research on new forms of energy. We want to harass the mysterious power of Pokemon. Okay, you don't fight me. Boring. But what's up there? I, I know there's some sort of Porygon evolution items. No, there's not. Not here, anyways. Why, thank you. We love it when people come to us to donate their Pokemon. In your dreams. Although, if Squishy misses and you kill him, I'm gonna get this. Because I like... Okay, something that Squishy can most likely handle, provided he hits. No, I'm annoyed after what happened last episode. I know no one died, but that was a pain. It was a 95% chance move, and I missed four times. It happened at... Squishy. Squishy. We just talked about this. Off camera, I told you. And even on camera, I said, if you... If I had to be put in a position where someone else, someone or you would die because you missed, it's gonna be you. Because it's your fault entirely. Like right now. <sighs> what am I gonna do with you? <laughs> and Sinatra too. Although Sing is a 55% chance move. Fury Cutter has no excuse. Fury Cutter was just dumb. Alright, who are you gonna send in next? A Krogon. Mudbomb, please. Thank you for not missing. You didn't kill it. <sighs> Squishy's not very good, guys. And I'm gonna speed this up. Just because this is probably gonna be a long episode and... Oh my god, Squishy! Freaking Squishy. If you die, this is entirely your fault. Thank you. Alright, let's get you out of there. If it goes for Pursue, I'm not going to be sympathetic. It didn't. Okay. Squishy lives another day. Fake out. Okay. Let's try Frustration. Hypnosis. Okay, Scarlet switch out. Let's try Nella, and then I'm going to have to run back to the Pokemon Center unless I have... No, I don't think I bought an Awakening. I don't think... Yeah. And then, Nala, could you please move Fasa? But Glamio was A, unevolved, and B, two, like two to three levels lower than me. What gives? Alright. Now I have to run back to the Pokemon Center because Squishy can't hit anything. I'm not sympathetic, Squishy. I'm not sympathetic. That was just dumb. And because I don't have an awakening, to the Pokemon Center! Do I have a Chesto Berry? Because if I had a Chesto Berry, that'd be great. I do. Okay. I'm kind of annoyed. It's an 85% accuracy move, which isn't the greatest, but I shouldn't be missing that much. I, like... Ugh, that's an 8.5 out of 10 chance to hit. And I missed. Twice, in like, the same battle. <laughs> yeah, Squishy and Sinatra, one of the two, or both, is gonna get killed because they missed at the worst possible time. And I have a feeling it's gonna be soon, especially for Squishy. Maybe that's because I'm less inclined to take risks with, risks with Sinatra because Sinatra just can't fight very well. But it's going to probably be squishy. Alright, let's go fight some more guys. And then I want to say after this, next four is Jupiter. Okay, you, that's the right way. So let's go the wrong way. You have a Magnemites. Our mission is to implement our operations without question. It is all for the new world order our boss will lead. New World Order. You guys can make whatever you want out of that. Scientist Travon and his cadaver. X. I'm screwed. That squishy, you suck. Honey Bun, I don't trust Sinatra to take hits. The Honey Bun is the only thing I trust to take hits from this thing, and that did that much. And it's faster. You're confused. Are you on? 
Anyone's dead? Batman's dead on Switch. Sinatra's dead on Switch. It's a cadaver. <laughs> I mean, I... Okay, let's try Nala. Although, then again, Nala's actually kind of slow. Apparently. I'm gonna lose to a cadaver! <laughs> okay, who's the fastest member of the team? 26, yeah, no. 33, 27. Well, you're dead on Switch. 41, 32, 31. What's your special defense? 26. Honey Buns was 55, and it's three shotting her. Oof. I'm gonna have to kill someone off. I don't think Scarlet can switch in and one shot. Or even be faster, so really, I have to sack someone off. I don't like this. I don't like this. I mean, technically speaking, Batman would be the easiest because Zubat's everywhere. But who would be the most replaced? I have Helga for another water type. And I have enough fighting resistances on this team. <sighs> I'm sorry, Squishy. This wasn't the depth of you I had in mind. Yeah... Yeah, I'm sorry, Squishy. Ugh. Well, that was crap. That was crap. I mean, I can put Vom on the team now if I wanted. Bye, Squishy. Alright, question of the day. Can Scarlet... Can... Am I actually going to be swept by a freaking cadaver? I might. You're not fast. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, Squishy just saved Scarlet. Squishy just saved Scarlet because of Mud Bomb. And a critical hit. Oh. <laughs> I am so, so sorry, Squishy. I am so, so sorry. That was... What a way to go. You die. <sighs> well, let's go get Vom. Like, I could... I guess technically Helga would make more sense, but it's a Bidoof. If it's a choice between Bidoof and Rotom, I'm taking the Rotom. And also, he's actually not even the lowest level. That would be Nala and Scarlet. That was awful. I am so sorry, Squishy. You even saved Scarlet, too. You even saved Scarlet. <sighs> I mean, I don't know for sure if that would have been a one-shot, but it probably will be. Scarlet's really frail. <sighs> what a way to go out. Like, I know I was just griping about how little you actually hit, but still. Cool. Bye, Squishy. I'm actually kind of sad. I know, you were great. You were- I mean, you weren't great, but you were funny. You made me- you made me happy just by existing. And you died so that others may live. Goodbye, Squishy. Hello, Vom. Okay. Welcome to the team, Vom. That was crap. Like, I was expecting, I don't know, Wurmples and Glammeows and Stunkies because that's what Team Galactic normally has. Not a Kadabra that gets a plus one special attack on the first turn and proceeds to... It would have melted my entire team. Pretty, it could have actually very easily just taken out my entire team. Also, OCD, give me a sec. Okay, now let's go. Like, it could have just melted my team right there. If it wasn't for him missing, if it one-shotted Scarlet, I was done. I was actually done. And then I would have been swept not by Jupiter, but by a random Team Galactic scientist. Okay, let's just go get whatever was behind the Iron Wall of Kadabra. Items. A blue shard. And a revive. Thanks, game! Thank you so much for those completely helpful items. Do you not fight me? I want to fight you. You don't. <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, Team Galactic is kind of hopeless. Alright, Jupiter. This is for Squishy. And actually, come to think of it, I probably should go get this item. Then maybe not... It's an upgrade. Okay, it's useless. It would have gotten Porygon to Porygon to you, but I can't trade. 
Right, what do you say? What is it with this Team Galactic? Why did they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? Well, I don't know. I really don't know. She starts Zubat. She starts Zubat. Vom knows Thundershock. And Double Team. Yeah, let's start with Vom. And did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon. What if I just wanted to say hi and I like your hair? Fine, I, Jupiter, will deal with you. But no, I actually just want to free the Pokemon. An event squishy. That's the big thing. Your stupid scientist killed my Shellums. Yep. I mean, I had a feeling that Squishy was going to die at some point. Oh, Vom, you look so glorious. Double team! And Bog, Dragon, Marshmallows of Doom. Alright. With the plus one evasion, Vom's probably fine. But Vom is not fine. Vom is not fine. Okay, Vom can take one more of those. Let's try Thundershock. I just got you! No! That was... That was garbage! <laughs> that was freaking garbage! Shut up, Jupiter. I hate you. Go die. That was... That was horrible! That was horrible! Ugh. Okay, look, Squishy would have been helpful. Well, I guess Helga's getting on the team either way. That was complete and utter garbage, and you know it. Oh my god. I got. I went out of my way to get you. I went. Out of my way to get you. And then you die. And it was a critical hit too. It wasn't like I could have avoided it. I was being careful. I would have taken one more bite. But no. You just had to get a critical hit and ruin my plans to finally use a Rotom. Ugh. Yes, hit yourself. Hit yourself and feel the guilt of what you just did to my, to my poor Rotom. That barely had a chance to make an impression. <sighs> Watch this be a crit too. It's gonna be a crit. You know it. That wasn't a crit, but I should really be switching out. Do you get pursuit? Do you get pursuit? I don't trust. Any okay, you don't. You're not using pursuit. Thank you. That was complete and utter garbage. Ugh. I don't even care what happens to the rest of this battle. That was stupid. That was completely stupid. And your snapped out confusion. Oh, and crit honey bun too. Why don't you while you're at it, Jupiter? Well, I mean, honey bun could survive another hit, but we all know what happens then. Uh, Nella. We all know what happens if I think something can take another hit. Oh, and Night Slash actually is a high crit rate, so that was probably smart. Ugh. I am not happy. I'm sure you can all tell because I'm ranting right now. Thank you all for watching the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. It hasn't been fun this time, this episode. It started off fine. It started off fine. Oh, and I don't even electric type because you created my Rotom. Thank you, game. Ugh. Oh, and Scarlet didn't kill it. Bye, Scarlet! <laughs> yeah, Scarlet's totally gonna die here. No, actually, thank you, Scarlet. You're more reliable. I, I guess I should be saying you're more reliable than I thought, because those two were complete and utter garbage! Ugh. <laughs> that was stupid. That was stupid. Being careless? I was being careful, and I'm the one who paid for it ultimately. Uh. Yeah, cool, your boss. With the power of a mythical Pokemon, keep out of Team Galactus affairs. Last warning, blah blah blah, don't care. I got my Clefairy back, thank you. Team Galactic, Clefairy came from space, handed over their logic back. It's like they are from space. Well, they're spacemen. They're shady grown-ups. 
and they're horrible and mean and complete and utter jerks. I'm sorry. I'm in a really bad mood. That was stupid. Like, I can understand now, since Night Slash does have a high critical hit rate. But getting a random critical hit on Bite when I was being careful, I would have taken one more. You could have missed. You could have done anything. I could have finished you off. But no! Let's go get Helga. And then Bastion, I guess. I have no words. I've had my vent. I've had my vent. Vom, I am so, so sorry this had to happen to you. That was... That was garbage! Oh, I was so excited to use you. I love Rota. And now you're dead. Because of a critical hit. That could have been avoided. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to Vom, I'm sorry to both Rotom Vom and actual Vom. And then Nala, I was actually half expecting someone to get credited. It just so happened to me because you were the next bulkiest. It's still actually around. Sorry, Nala. You actually were really good while you were around, even though you didn't do much. See, 10 deaths and two badges. These two were garbage. This one, I really had no choice. These six were just because Mars is Mars, and this one was entirely my fault. Well, welcome to the team, Helga. At least you're one level away from evolving. I can even give you a rare candy. And you too, Bastion. You know what, I'm just gonna give Helga the rare candy and evolve her. I'm not really in the mood to continue this episode after this. I need to go vent. Very badly. Alright, where's that rare candy at? Alright, Helga, you've already done better than Justin has. Same level, same amount of levels grown, but you've evolved. Plus 3 HP, okay. Your stats suck. What? Helga's evolving. Yeah, I have enough fighting resist to the point where I'm not particularly concerned about the fighting weakness. I have 3. <sighs> Welcome, Helga. Hopefully you'll do... Hopefully you'll last longer than Vom did. Water gun shirt, okay. And hopefully you will be more reliable than Squishy was. Uh, yeah, I am not in the mood to continue this episode after this. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed me getting critted, Please, well, even if you just enjoyed this episode, or if you enjoy, enjoy my series in general, please consider leaving a like, or commenting, or subscribing. It all really helps. And yeah, bye bye